Welcome my fellow Cerulians. In today's episode of Riley in the Kitchen, I'm going to be showing you how I make some of my delicious smoothies. So without further ado, let's get blending. So this first recipe is a breakfast smoothie. We're going to be using 200 milliliters of coconut water, frozen strawberries, four of them, and half a banana, also frozen. 20 grams of oats and 20 grams of protein powder. That's vanilla that I'm using. One spoon of natural yogurt, and the ice is optional. You don't have to use it, but if you do use it, bear in mind that it will make your smoothie a lot thinner in consistency. Now I like adding honey to this recipe, but I find that when I add it, it gets all congealed. So I created this hack where I make honey water using boiling water to melt the honey and then adding it right at the end. And what you're left with is this delicious, quite filling smoothie. Oh, and let's not forget that honey water. This second smoothie is a green smoothie. Again, we're gonna be using 200 milliliters of coconut water, a handful of frozen mangoes, handful of frozen pineapples, and a handful of frozen peach, as well as a handful of uh, spinach. It's a lot of handfuls there. Blend that all together. Now this one is quite thick because we haven't added any ice, so it takes a while to actually blend through. And what you're left with is this really thick, fruity, delicious smoothie. With your smoothies, if you're finding that it's not, it's still a bit chunky, it's not smooth enough, then it has to do with the blender that you're using. You wanna use a very powerful blender. That's gonna make a massive difference to your smoothie game. I recommend a Nutribullet, that's what I use. That's my go-to. Before that, I used something that was quite subpar and yeah, the quality just wasn't there. So you really do need a powerful smoothie to make these delicious smoothies. Now the third smoothie recipe is my favorite out of the bunch. Here I got honeydew melon. It's about two handfuls of honeydew melon I chop up fresh. Half a banana, ice again, that's optional. And a handful of blueberries. <laughs> that's probably a bit more than a handful. I like my blueberries. And this lemon curd yogurt by Yeo Valley, it's absolutely phenomenal. But uh, guys, you can use any yogurt you like, but that's my go-to. And then a little bit of apple juice, I would say about 50 ml. You don't need too much apple juice for this one. You can see it's a very thin consistency. It's quite first quenching. It's absolutely delicious. My favorite. 